What you got there, Rick? There's a uh, very white neck and blue with a slot there for a truss rod, stainless steel truss rod, and a bunch of holes for, for the sake of pound holes. <laughs> this stuff is pre-stained wood conditioner. You look like a surgeon there with those gloves. Well, you know, my mother always wanted me to be a doctor. And this is the first step to just kind of getting an even coat of stain on it. This is one of two processes. I mix dye in with my pre-stained wood conditioner so that I have a little bit of tint happening before I put on the real stain. Gives a deeper, richer, more consistent color. Well, it's my own invention, and of course that's <coughs> top secret. So. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best not to divulge any manufacturing or trade secrets. <laughs> Don't worry. If someone's smart enough to catch on to that, they can use it. <laughs> Only a fellow builder would really care. I have a soft spot for other builders knowing what they go through. Kind of an odd situation. We're all competitors, yet we're all very respectful of each other. I mean, think that's how it should be. I am respectful of the builders I like. Yeah. In general, they're really that's a nice, nice people. Who've decided? There's a better way to make a living than standard issue. Isn't that what you were saying earlier today? There's really nothing else you want to do. Yeah. Well, there is a lot of things I want to do, but if I had to jump back into the real world, like what I lived in for many years, I always kind of stepped in and out of the real world quote. Um, I just... I wouldn't fare very well these days. I just don't have the discipline to deal with a lot of the stuff that's out there. So you make your world, make your own world, and then it's okay. Yeah. I like that. Make your own world, and then it's all okay. The best brushes for doing this are brushes from China, from the northern part of China. Why is that? Uh, the reason is, the pigs, it's made out of pigs fur, uh, rub themselves against the fences a lot up there. Did really you say pigs fur? Pigs. Fur? Fur, yeah. Pigs, pigs have, have fur? fur? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. brushes are hey, you learn something every day. made out of pigs fur for staining purposes. Yeah. Or for fine varnishes. Or actually they call it pigs hair. Well, 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 might be hair, might be fur, I don't know the difference. Do you like my fur? <laughs> yeah, we could use that for brushes. <laughs> I do, I brush my food off before it goes in. Okay. And anyways, it's the northern part of China where it's, where the hair is most uh, prized because they rub themselves against fences and they fray all those little ends. Oh, okay. And those little ends capture the material that you're putting on. Uh-oh, here come those darned ads on the radio. Oh, no. No. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We can actually turn that off. Yeah, now this is the real stain, okay? And this is that nice brush I was talking about. Pigs hair from the northern part of China, observe. Look at that. Beautiful. Man, it just sucks in that stuff. So you don't have to spend all your life re-dipping into the pot. Let's Thank you, stain. pigs from China. Yeah. I didn't know that they were so precious. From the northern part of China. Mm -hmm. 
that. Put a full wash coat is what they call that. It's like on all the way. You don't get scrimpy with the material. You work it in, make sure it looks nice and dark and even. Make sure you don't miss anything. Ugh. Little drippy, little drippy. Okay, now I gotta do this front end here. Oh, the things you go through to make a Merlin harp. Yeah, I... You get better at it the more you do it. And I've done it a lot of times, so I'm pretty good. None of this raises my blood pressure like it used to when I first was building instruments. Why did it used to raise your blood pressure? Well, because when you really don't know what you're doing, you're hanging onto your seat trying to get it right. Oh, I got it, yeah. Now I know exactly what I want at any given point, you know. So there's no process on these hearts where I have to go, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta really concentrate on this one or keep all those nuances in line. It's pretty automatic after you do about almost 400 of these. You have a message for the person who's going to play this harp? Yeah, I'd like to thank them right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd like to do. Yeah. Big, big, big thanks for buying a Merlin. That's right, yeah. As much as I'd like to own 400 Merlins, I just can't afford it. <laughs> you got to keep them running out the door, don't you, to be a they successful do. heart builder? I guess you consider yourself a luthier? You know, I, that's, a, that's a loose term. You know, that has to do with someone who works with string instruments. So it's a very general term. It is, I'm under the category of luthery, you know. But uh, I never mentioned that to most people because they think you're somewhat satanic or something. Really? Or satanic. Or Lutheran, worse. Or Lutheran, yeah, even worse. <laughs> oh, heaven forbid. Heaven forbid there's a Lutheran in the house. Oh, no. Aren't you supposed to be Catholic, though? Oh, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was I'm supposed Catholic. to be Lutheran. Was. <laughs> uh, how, did this, how did this devolve into a talk about religion? We better turn the camera off right now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think start so. start getting deep now. Enough of that. Start getting as dark as this stain. Okay, that's real pretty. When you look at it and you see what kind of sheen it has on it, is it ready to wipe? And it's nearly ready to wipe. So what's happening now? I'm just kind of rubbing this very nice Elkid stain in. Remove the brush marks and kind of you're wiping some on and distributing some and moving some off in order to get an even coat. And once you do that, kind of rub it in that way, then you get a little cleaner part of the rag. So there's brushing and then rubbing? Pretty much. Then you take it a little cleaner part of the rag that will absorb all the excess stuff. And you just got to rub with a certain amount of very careful pressure. Very even pressure. Rub it out like this. Go all the way down. It's looking really good. It's a very moist day here in Denver, Colorado. Pretty rare thing. So I've got plenty of time to get this right. Sometimes during a very hot day, you've got to move extremely quickly. I just have to move now. When you kneel before you work, <laughs> to get the lighting right so you can see exactly where all the stuff 
is. Now you're a humble heart maker, kneeling before your work. Oh God, yeah. I love my Lord. I adore it. I worship it. There it is. That's pretty good. That works. Yeah, everything you do, you seem to have to do in reverse. I know. And many times. Repetition. One side and the other, one side and the other. It's not hard work, but you do have to pay attention. A little bit. Some guy who uh, turned me on to some nice brushes. He said, you know, most people don't realize that staining is an art form. He already got into staining at one time. I'm not sure where he'd go. He was just a guy there at the hardware store. But he knew a lot about staining. And he said, great, man, you gotta have this brush. This will work for you. But then he proceeded to explain how he would stain something. And uh, I used a few of his tricks. And then you do it again. <laughs> and again. And again. This one's not quite set yet, the uh, uh, wood stain conditioner. So I can put this up here, kind of clean it up a little bit here, and take a five minute break. Oh, this is nice. I'm going to finish these today. That's a big deal. Maybe still have time to play on headphones. I got a headphone rig for the guitar. So I can play in the head, you know, play in the middle of the night without anybody. So little do people know that while you're working on these harps, you're dreaming about playing your guitar. Oh, I am, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know, it's not like I can always play, but now I'm in the mood to play. You know, I just had a good session. You're session. just in the mood to play your guitar. Yeah. Because you got new strings. I got new strings. I got some new material. Uh, I got some things I'm working on, and I'm you know still working on the bugs and finishing the lyric and stuff like that. You know, keeps me busy. I still don't know why. I've stopped uh, questioning it. The idea is enjoy it, whether it be whatever it is. Did you hear that thunder? Man, that's sounding good. You gotta be low on the light here to see all the little little gafungis, little little bits that just need to be slightly cleaned up. Mm-hmm. So you angle yourself to see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I get the reflection like, you know, like uh, the sun off of water kind of thing. Gives you a real good view of the surface. And that is it. One more to go. Very cool. <laughs> you can always sing to make it more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> On a couple of the clips, didn't we have uh, Rick Rubarth music in the background? Uh, we might have at one time. Yeah, we might have. Wow, it's happening out there. Yes. Right. Thunder and lightning and rain. Yeah, rain is the key. So what song are you singing about now? Oh, let's see. Um, it's a real weird tune. Uh, it's got a real weird line to it, and it's uh, it's um, 
what is it about? I'm going to have to kind of condense it in my brain even. It's about a guy who uh, approaches a woman at a bar and she shuts him down and he's knocked out. <laughs> you know, like a fight, you know. Oh, he loses. He loses, man. <laughs> and then it has some quotes from Shakespeare in it. Well, that's pretty fascinating. Something to do with it is better to have loved than, and lost than to have never loved at all. <laughs> you know, the old cliche. And it's not a serious tune. It just meant to be like, you know, three minute mm -hmm. fun joke tune with a little bit of sensuality to it, you know. Same with the harps. They're there and they're gone. That's right. You build them, you paint them, they get sold. They go out the door. That's the idea. I like the idea that they go out in the world myself. You know? Okay, Merlin, get ready to go out in the world and make some beautiful music. <laughs> I hope so. I always do. A lot of people are using this harp for uh, hospital work, which is very wonderful, I think. Genuinely wonderful and very, very useful and very real, you know. It's not hokey-dinkum spirituality. It's giving people peace in tough times.